Hi guys, Todd here. I, it's rather late and, and I thought I would sneak in a quick review before I, I get dragged back in the house. So um, if I disappear at any moment, it's, it's because I've been caught. Anyway, Watofo. Uh, Watofo serpents. Now we have many serpents. Many serpents. Uh, and, and it always used to be that the serpent was the single coil and the conqueror was always a dual coil. Uh, this one's kind of different. Um, first off, right, this is the device here. Let's just give you a proper look. And this is it sitting on a free hand by Limelight Mechanics. Now, first things first, this atty is a squonking atty. Now, it doesn't come with a standard 510 pin. The 510 pin that's in it has a hole in it. So, technically speaking, you should only be using this with a squonker. Now, I'll cover that when we go in the close-ups. Um, you can single coil this. It comes with a reducer, so you can just do single coil. So I suppose it does deserve the Serpent name. However, you can dual coil it, but calling it the Serpent Conqueror BF probably isn't quite as catchy. Now, just checking on the old interwebs here just now. Yes, I'm over 18. Yeah, looking, I'm in Evolution Vaping just now. It's 25 quid. Now, £25 for a squonking atty is... Oh, that's a good price. That's a good price. The reason I think it's a good price and this is a good thing is because so many people are trying to get into squonking. Uh, you can get budget squonkers, you know, like the Pico Squeeze, the Kanger stuff and so on. But the atties that come with them are not always the best. So most folk are looking for budget squonking atties. Now, I know Matt at M Vapes in the UK does have a lot of the old Watofo atomizers and he puts squonking pins in them, so that's a good call there. But this is the first proper Watofo BF Atty. Now, the Serpent BF comes in your usual Watofo box and we've got the old TPD, you're doomed, you're going to die, kind of carry on going on here. Uh, but yeah, that's all what we've come to expect. Inside you're going to find some baggies, you're also going to find a manual that will take you through setting this device up. In the baggies you'll find some coils, you'll get three coils, and one of the bags you'll get some cotton, you'll also get some tools, and you've got everything there to get you going. You just need a mod and some e-liquid. Now we'll start with the, the bottom section of the RDA, and um, yeah, it looks like this, we've got this little symbol on it here. And that's about it. We have Serpent BF in the bottom and Watofo. So what happens is you take your deck, this, and that just pops in there and job done. Uh, now the deck itself is, yeah, we've seen this in other devices. It's nothing, it's nothing really new to be perfectly honest. Uh, we've just got uh, four holes going on there, two posts, four holes, and a well on either side. And slap bang in the middle, you can see you've got a squonk hole and so the juice comes straight through there out the hole in the middle and uh, it soaks your cotton for you there is no 510 pin for this there is no 510 pin this one's got a hole in it but uh, do you know I'll be brutally honest if you want to use this in a standard dripper just get a bit of cotton wedge it down on top of the squonk hole and you can use it as a standard dripper you, I've done this for Oh, for as long as I've been squonking, uh, I've used squonking atties with just a bit of cotton stuck over the hole, jobs are good in. You can go single coil or dual coil, uh, you've got three holes going on around here. So if it was single coil, you would just slap your coil in front of there, but this is dual coil. So just drop that in, boink, down she goes, 510 comes through, and we're good to go. Now, you take this piece here. See you've got your slots going on and we just slot that down there like so and that's us and we have an Ultim drip tip here and we have a standard 510 drip tip. Pop that on there, jobs are good in. Now here comes my first negative. Getting this section out is a complete and utter ball ache. Um, if you have a drip tip that's nice and tight you can almost like lever it out but I'm unable to do it with this supplied 510 drip tip. The easiest way to do it, take your atty off, push the bottom and off it comes and just push that back down 
And that is the quickest and easiest way to get this top cap off. If you want to go to the, the wider board drip tip, you just push that out from the bottom, doink, like so. That goes back on, and you're rearing to go again. Now this is the single coil deck that I've got going on here. Now this is a silicon reducer that comes with it. Now I cannot stress this enough and I'm going to harp on about this so many times. This is made of silicon, okay? As long as you have a coil, cotton and it's wet in there and it doesn't matter if you're down at 0 0.2, whatever you fire down to, you will be fine as long as you keep everything wet, primed and so on and just pushes in there. However, they do stress that um, if you're dry firing your coil with no cotton in there, you do it without this reducer in here. Um, you just don't want to mix this with great amounts of heat. Uh, it just, just don't do it. Simple as that. It doesn't state this anywhere in the manual, but um, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm going to go out on a limb and say this. I mean, I was just told by Watofo it's a silicon. Um, uh, so because of that, yeah, don't get masses of heat right next to this or I don't think it'd be a good thing. Now, when you screw this down, um, sometimes if your atty does not sit completely flush on top of the device and you've got any kind of gap, when you're screwing it down, you will find that this section can turn by itself and, and move the air holes away from the coils, which is a bit of a pain. So that is a bit of a negative in itself. Uh, one other thing I will point out is that, you know, squonking away with it, no problem there at all, which is just filling up nicely. It does suck all that juice straight back out. And it's not the biggest squonk hole either, so, it, you know, I'm having to give that quite a firm press there. It does fill up no problem, and it does drip all over your mod, but uh, yeah, it's doing the job. So there we go, we're all primed up, and give that a little fire. There she goes. And that's it, just the ticket. So, take my top cap, make sure she's lined up properly, pop that down, and we're good to go. Now, if you want to adjust the airflow, so you've got to hold on to the bottom section, and you then have to spin the top section and yeah it's, it's easy enough to adjust the airflow you can open and close this right down um, you know if you do it without holding putting any pressure on the bottom then you will have issues but yeah it's pretty straightforward which does look kind of good on the, the old limelight uh, freehand there right back up top so there we go uh, as you saw at the beginning uh, we'll have a quick vape Grant's Vanilla Custard. I found some Grant's Vanilla Custard. So happy. Um, right. I like this. I do like this. I like this in dual coil and I like this in single coil setup. I think the flavour is not half bad. It's, it's as good as any other run-of-the-mill atomizer out there. It's not as... I don't think it's... You know, when you go cloudy, when it's fully open air, airflow-wise, there's lots of air gets in there but it's still a slightly restricted lung hit. It's not a full-on cloudy, there is a restriction there. But you can close it down a bit and you can get a a very restricted lung hit. Mouth to lung, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's geared that way to be honest. Um, but it's, the other thing, the wells with the cotton in it, uh, don't cram your cotton in there, it's a squonking at it, you're not supposed to vape it like that. You know, just Get a little bit of cotton in. That'll do you. That, that'll do you, donkey. And then just squonk away. Um, the two different drip tips, you know, you've got the, the Ultim that not everybody loves, and you've got a standard drip tip there as well. Uh, it's all good. The spears and all that, everything's good. The, the negatives, the big negative, the big, huge negative, is getting that bloody top cap off. I have just... If you don't have a tight fat drip tip in there that you can wiggle it off, then the easiest way, unscrew the atty, pop the 510, and, and it'll come off. That's it. 
Uh, other thing, as I mentioned, you know, if you're not sitting completely flush down on the mod, you can spin the bottom section and it will knock it out of alignment from your coils. You do have to make sure you hold on to the bottom section when adjusting the airflow. But all these things, they're minor niggles, minor niggles. One thing I want to make oh, so clear to you, so clear to you in this, um, the reducer. Now the reducer is made from silicon. Now I don't know what grade of silicon or anything like that. I really don't know. I've asked with Tofu several times and I'm struggling to get the information back. What they have specifically said to me is when you put a single coil in, you dry fire it, do it without that reducer in the chamber. You don't want the reducer in there at all. Pop your cotton in, prime it, slap the reducer in and vape away to your heart's content and you will be fine. Just, you don't want, <laughs> well you shouldn't be, you know, if your mod goes off in your pocket yeah, and it gets boiling hot and, and it could melt the reducer but uh, I reckon you'll have other problems before you get to that point. Um, just that's that's I just want to make that clear. I think it's um uh, it's something that should have been made clear in the manual. It should have been clarified, and I think maybe they should have gone for peak or something like that rather than just plain old silicon. I don't think that was a good idea. Be careful with that one. That's my only stipulation. As I said, flavor, vape quality, everything is is really good. Um. I do have those niggles, I do want you to be aware of them, but for £25, if you've bought yourself a, a budget squonker and you're looking for a cheap atty to put on top of it, then I think this is a good point of call, I really do. And and I'm enjoying it. I do enjoy vaping with it. Um, <laughs> that's about it. That really is it. It's not perfect. But it's bloody good. That Grant's Vanilla Custard does taste awfully nice in there. Uh, listen, I got these sent on free to review to show off to you. Uh, there's black ones as well. Um, I will point out that the black one, the getting that top cap off, is even more of a pain in the arse than the stainless steel one. Take the atty off, pop the 510, you'll be fine. Um, and, and that's it for me, I've got nothing else for you. There'll be lots of reviews out there, there's been reviews out for about past two weeks already. But uh, go watch them, make your minds up and, uh, and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you next time. Bye now.